November 15, 2025, a new era in space exploration begins at Cape Canaveral. The world holds its breath as the first rays of sunlight illuminate the historic launch pad, signaling not just the start of a new day, but the beginning of a bold new chapter in humanity's journey beyond Earth. Blue Origin's new Glenn, named for the legendary astronaut John Glenn, rises as a symbol of persistence, innovation, and the relentless pursuit of progress. Its towering presence on the pad is a testament to the dreams and determination of countless engineers, scientists, and visionaries who dared to imagine a future where space is within reach for all. Years of tireless engineering, late nights, and unwavering ambition have led to this moment. A rocket meticulously crafted for reusability and designed to fly not just once, but again and again. Every bolt, every weld, and every system has been tested and refined, all in pursuit of a more sustainable and accessible path to the stars. Today's launch isn't just another flight, it's a bold step toward making space more accessible for generations to come. Families, students and dreamers gather to witness history, their eyes reflecting hope for a future where space travel is no longer reserved for the few, but open to the many. The anticipation is electric, this is the culmination of over a decade of work, sacrifice and collaboration. In Mission Control every heartbeat echoes with the weight of responsibility and the thrill of possibility as the team prepares for the critical moments ahead. New Glenn's mission is clear, to prove that its advanced systems and revolutionary, reusable design can meet the demands of modern spaceflight. Each launch, each landing, is a step toward a future where rockets return, refuel, and fly again, dramatically reducing the cost and increasing the frequency of access to space. A successful launch and landing today would mark Blue Origin as a major force, driving competition and progress in aerospace. It would inspire new generations of innovators and signal to the world that the dream of routine, reliable space travel is closer than ever before. Every phase, from liftoff to landing, is a test of engineering, vision, and the human spirit. Each second is filled with risk and reward, as the boundaries of what's possible are pushed ever further. Now, as engines prepare to ignite and the countdown reaches its final moments, the world watches in anticipation. This is the dawn of a new chapter in space access, a moment that will echo through history and inspire the explorers of tomorrow. The countdown ends. Tension in the control room gives way to anticipation as every eye is fixed on the launch pad. Years of preparation and countless hours of work have led to this singular moment. Seven BE-4 engines ignite, unleashing a torrent of fire and power. The ground trembles as the engines roar to life, their combined force lifting the massive rocket from its cradle. New Glenn lifts off, climbing steadily, a pillar of light against the Florida sky. The rocket's ascent is both graceful and powerful, a testament to human ingenuity and ambition. Onboard computers keep the rocket perfectly stable, adjusting each engine's gimbal for precision. Every second, thousands of calculations ensure the rocket stays on course, responding instantly to the smallest changes. The rocket surges through max Q, the point of greatest stress, and breaks the sound barrier with ease. The structure holds firm, engineered to withstand the immense forces of ascent. The engines perform flawlessly, telemetry streaming back, all systems nominal. In mission control, data pours in, confirming that every component is working in perfect harmony. For nearly three minutes the engines burn, propelling New Glenn higher and faster. The rocket climbs through the thinning atmosphere, its velocity increasing with every passing second. The rocket becomes a distant point of light, its fiery trail marking its path through the upper atmosphere. From the ground, it's a fleeting star, racing toward the edge of space. Gravity's grip weakens as New Glenn nears its target altitude and speed. The blue curve of Earth falls away, and the vastness of space beckons just ahead. The first stage's job is nearly done, stage separation is next. Soon, the booster will detach, having delivered its precious cargo through the most perilous part of the journey. The ascent is a masterclass in engineering, setting the stage for the next critical event. Every system, every component, has performed exactly as designed. The journey upward is nearly complete. Now, the baton passes to the next phase. New Glenn's flawless ascent paves the way for what comes next, an adventure that continues beyond the sky. Main engine cutoff. Mecco arrives, marking a pivotal moment in the launch sequence. The engines, having roared with power just moments before, now fall silent in the vacuum of space. With the engines off, the rocket glides forward, carried only by the momentum built up during ascent. 
In this weightless silence, the vehicle floats above the blue curve of Earth, a brief pause before the next critical step. Stage separation begins, explosive bolts fire with precision, and the first stage falls away cleanly. It's job complete. This is a carefully choreographed maneuver executed in the harsh environment of space. Cameras capture the booster drifting gracefully against the curve of Earth, a flawless handoff between stages. The booster begins its long journey home, while the second stage prepares for its own moment of ignition. The second stage, powered by two BE-3U engines, comes to life. Bright plumes flare as the engines ignite, providing the thrust needed for the final push to orbit. The engines burn with unwavering intensity, steadily accelerating the payload to the tremendous speed required for orbital velocity. Every second counts as the rocket climbs higher and faster. The goal is simple yet profound, reach a speed where the spacecraft is in continuous freefall around Earth, never touching down, forever chasing the horizon in a delicate balance between gravity and motion. Nestled securely inside the payload fairing, NASA's escapade probes await their moment. These scientific explorers are protected from the harshness of space, ready for deployment once the rocket achieves its target orbit. Telemetry streams in, confirming the second stage is on course and accelerating as planned. Engineers at Mission Control monitor every parameter, ensuring the rocket remains on its precise trajectory. The mission's primary goal, delivering the payload safely to orbit, is now within reach. Anticipation builds as the rocket nears its final destination, the culmination of years of planning and teamwork. But the story doesn't end here. The next chapter unfolds. A ballet of fire and precision as the booster returns to Earth, ready to be recovered and flown again. As the second stage heads to orbit, the first stage booster begins its return. In the vacuum of space, it flips using cold gas thrusters, engines now facing forward. A re-entry burn slows the booster, shaping its path toward the landing ship Jacqueline. Aerodynamic strakes and grid fins deploy, guiding the booster through thickening air. The grid fins withstand intense heat and supersonic speeds, steering the booster with precision. The booster becomes a controlled glider, using physics and design to navigate home. RCS thrusters and fins keep it stable, preventing tumbling during the fiery descent. The booster glows as it re-enters, a meteor-like spectacle for cameras and mission control. All eyes are on the final, nail-biting landing burn. The booster descends, subsonic and steady toward the ship Jacqueline in the vast Atlantic, its engines whispering against the wind. The flight computer locks precisely onto the ship's position, preparing for the critical and delicate landing ahead. A single BE-4 engine ignites for the final burn, slowing the booster for a gentle controlled touchdown on the deck. Landing legs deploy with precision, ready to absorb the impact and stabilize the massive rocket. The booster hovers, then settles softly onto Jacqueline's deck, upright, intact, and perfectly balanced. Silence returns as the engine cuts off. The 60-meter booster stands tall, a monument to engineering. This is a historic first. New Glenn's booster lands at sea, proving Blue Origin's vision for the future. The achievement validates years of engineering, teamwork, and the promise of true reusability. The Titan has reached the heavens and returned, ready to fly again and inspire the next generation. While the world celebrates the landing, the second stage continues its mission in orbit. After a coasting phase, the BE-3U engines reignite for a precise burn, circularizing the orbit. The payload fairing splits and falls away, revealing the twin escapade spacecraft. Springs gently push the probes into space, each on a slightly different trajectory. Onboard cameras capture the serene deployment, solar panels ready to unfold. Telemetry confirms both spacecraft are healthy and on course. New Glenn has delivered its payload safely and accurately. The second stage performs a final deorbit burn, ensuring safe disposal. Every mission objective is met, a flawless debut for New Glenn. The data gathered will shape the future of spaceflight. New Glenn's success marks a turning point in space access. Reusability for heavy lift rockets changes the economics of spaceflight forever. No longer are rockets single use. Now, boosters return, ready to fly again. This achievement intensifies competition, spurring innovation and lowering costs. With New Glenn, the world gains redundancy and choice in reaching orbit. Affordable routine access to space unlocks new possibilities for science, business, and exploration. Blue Origin's motto, step by step, ferociously, 
comes to life in this mission. Today, a bold idea is validated, and a new giant joins the story of exploration. New Glenn is more than a machine, it's a vehicle for humanity's aspirations. The path to the stars is now more accessible, sustainable, and exciting than ever before.